DFG Science TV, function through diversity, pioneering work in China, the largest ever forest experiment on biodiversity. To find out how the diversity of tree species affects how a forest ecosystem works, the researchers are planning a large-scale experiment. On an area covering some 50 hectares, which is about the size of 70 football pitches that used to be covered with enormous timber plantations of fast-growing conifers. Now, after this monoculture has been clear-cut, a colourful mixture of different trees is to be planted here instead. The forest that uh, is to be established here will look very different. Uh, as uh, we've heard from uh, Helge Brühlheide, he will be, will establish here mixtures uh, of species up to 16 in different plots. And uh, this has been prepared over the previous year. The researchers claim that a high level of species diversity, in other words, a mixture of different tree species, is important for ecosystem functioning. This assumption is based on the so-called niche theory, which states that there is an optimum position along an environmental gradient for each species. This may be due to the amount of light available in a forest, for example. Near to the optimum, a certain species is able to grow and to reproduce particularly well. The niches of the species, in other words, the ranges in which they can exist, are distributed differently along this environmental gradient. If there are two species that grow together in one plot, then the chances of them being able to exploit the environmental gradient, for instance the available light, better are high. These chances are even better with four species, with eight or even 16 species. According to this theory, the more species that co-occur, the better the environmental gradient would be exploited. The international team of researchers spent a long time discussing how this theory could be put to the test in practice. One particular challenge they faced was that, in contrast to previous experiments, this was to be done not with short-lived small species, but with trees and shrubs. What interests the researchers most of all is how the trees will grow. To find this out, they've raised saplings of a large number of tree species in a nursery. They will have to be transported here, uh, which is the beginning of a large logistical operation. Uh, the, the plants have to be not just uh, randomly placed in this large area, but each plant or each tree will have its individual spot in every plot. Uh, and so the, the workers that come here to establish the forest will have to work uh, meticulously after a predetermined plan. Just like in the game Battleships, the area was split up into a grid of columns and rows. There will be 40 trees planted in each of the grid cells. That means that each of the plots has to be big enough to provide space for the fully grown trees in the future. The experiment is broken down into sets, with 16 tree species per set. The 400 trees may all be of the same species, in other words, a monoculture. There is one monoculture of each species, so there are 16 of these plots in total. Next, two species per plot are mixed, resulting in eight different two-species mixtures. Similarly, there are four different four-species mixtures, two different eight-species mixtures, and one mixture with all 16 species. Which mixture is planted into which plot, and where precisely each individual tree ends up in each plot is left to chance. The results of this experiment will show us how a natural ecosystem works. On the basis of this, the researchers will be able to develop recommendations on how to manage and use the forest better. The experiment is designed to be long-term and will be evaluated by several generations of researchers, a way of looking at things that has a long tradition in China. To quote Confucius, If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of ten years, plant trees. If in terms of a hundred years, teach the people. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.